Welcome back to Majora's Mask. Previously, we made it to the Stone Tower Temple. This episode, we're gonna start making some progress. What's our business killing those guys? Second of business is hit that eye because it's there. Uh, so maybe I can't hit it now. There we go. And there's a chest. If you equip the fairy mask, you guys could probably guess it's a stray fairy. <laughs> I'm gonna head down here and equip an empty bottle. Reason being, there's a stray fairy. Well, not a stray fairy, just a regular fairy. I wanna get it now. Just so I don't have to worry about it later on. There are almost stray fairies in this room, but I can't actually get any of them. I have to wait till we're halfway through the dungeon for that. So we'll head on over into this room. What I'll do is I'll put a bomb over here first. You can't use the bomb mask, but I have spare bombs, so might as well take care of these guys. Well, I wait. <laughs> yeah. Also, a bunch of switches in here. I'll show what to do with those in a minute. And by a minute, I mean now. <laughs> As you can see, there was also a chest up there. But it's upside down. Don't worry, we'll get that later as well. I'm gonna pick up this little box and just put it there. And this switch is a bit too big. For anyone else to use. But if you're gone, like, it's no problem. So use the allergy of emptiness. And the switch will stay pressed like that. That's what the wooden box is for. And that's one thing I like about this dungeon, it utilizes the Allergy of Emptiness very well. When you complain about the Allergy of Emptiness, the Deku Link is just useless. Deku Link is pretty much the least used form in the game. The only time you really need it is for the Summer Swamp at the start of the game. Uh, heck, even for this, well, yeah, some of us might be actually needed because you need to get the Sonata of Awakening. But there's probably a glitch to get to the Sonata of, of Awakening without even using a Deku form. There's tons of glitches for this game, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, that was a sick double kill. Just keep an eye out for anything. Now, as usual, you always want to have the Grey Fairy's mask equipped. 
Yeah, there's no hole in the roof. I believe these guys are actually alive, if I'm correct. Weird or not? Weird. These ones? Supposed to be a key that we got. That's a strange thing. Can't actually find it. Oh, never mind. That's what you want to do. And in here should be a small key, I would assume. No, the dungeon map. But... But there should be a dungeon key! Okay, there we go. It was as simple as killing all the enemies in the room, and there were two behind the wall, obviously. I'd have been so worried if I was actually a straight fairy, because I wouldn't know what else to do. I'm just going to ignore the dragonfly, and I'm in here. There is a Beamer, sir. I don't remember if you can just throw a bomb in them. You can't just throw a bomb in them. Check that! I just want to check over here first. Not able to grab anything there. And there's no light, obviously, so it can't even get rid of some blocks. Oh. 
And there's a switch down there, so obviously I'm going to check on the switch first. And there's an upside down chest there. So obviously we're not getting that. Here's a mechanic of the dungeon. Using the mirror shield, you can hit the mirrors. And you can charge them up. It's the storing light in order to use it again at a later point. Now of course it is the fame, the bomb fell away <laughs> that grin. Hey, what you got there? This compass. It would appear to be back to Stein room. Bonfire just does not notice me at all. Yeah, dude, it's a cryptozoa phone. Oh, you blew up, anyways. So, might as well take a look at the dungeon map. Nothing that way. I probably missed something. Did you tell there was something after us? Yeah, you can see him right there. I don't remember what it's called. Is it big guy I want to call it? Oh, that's the name of the Yu-Gi-Oh card. 
Could be big eye. Just trying to get back up there. There we go. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything up here because I must have. That's probably it. There we go, small key. Just have to make that jump. There's nothing in about this dungeon I love. Ow. Is that it requires you to know all about your forms and use them in different ways. Because there are Deku flowers, and you do choose Gohan Link for certain parts. And that's just a great thing in general. There you go, switch your set. As you can see, it's Bud, a chest there. It's gonna be what I think it is. It's gonna actually be where we get the key item of the dungeon. Okay, no, it isn't. Would be weird if it was. Of course, you got all these guys. Just wanna take them out. You want to equip the go on mask? Because you can punch all these blocks out. It's a whole bunch of suns here. We want to find the correct one, which I think that one was. Yeah, I spawned a chest. I don't think the enemies we spawned. I think it's just the one now. Yeah, second stray fairy. And we're barely starting through the dungeon. Western songs, I think it's just the ones you gotta hit. You have that sort out. Forgot about him. But there we go. First three fairy. I want to keep charge of this mirror. Help. 
gonna charge this one up. Dang. I don't think you need to charge the second mirrors in this room. But you can never be too safe. It doesn't help how the enemies are just everywhere too. What I'm gonna do is equip the bunny hood. Should make things slightly easier I'm hoping. After those enemies can just straight up push you. Pretty annoying. You just need to find the right alignment. And once you do, just charge up. There we go. This room is just a bit annoying for all the enemies that are around. But that's the whole point of it. Wait, that's the 22 minutes, I'll continue this in the next episode.